Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in today for your word for the day. I'm, my name is Robert. I'm thankful to be here with you as we near completion on our look at the identity that we have in Jesus. It's been a great journey talking about how we belong, how we have confidence, and how we have purpose in Christ. Today I get to share with you 1 Corinthians 3.16, which says, Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? See, there's so much to unpack here, but I want to simply focus on the last part. This says the Spirit of God dwells in us. See, this is so amazing and revolutionary for the people of Jesus' day to hear this, because prior to Jesus, the dwelling place of God on earth was the temple. And for years, people went to a physical place to be in the presence of God. But the life-changing reality of Jesus is that for those who call Jesus their Lord and Savior, God sent the Holy Spirit to dwell in each and every follower of Jesus, which means that God literally is with you wherever you are. God is with you at home, at work, in the car, in stores, at church, even in your online activity. And the sobering reality is that God sees and knows all of our thoughts and actions, but the inspiring reality is that we no longer face life alone. We are no longer left to figure out our life alone, but the Spirit of God is in us. And he's committed to teaching us, to helping us, to guiding us, and shaping us to live more like Jesus every day. So today, I hope a couple things for you. First, I hope that you find peace and encouragement knowing that the Holy Spirit is with you in every situation. When you feel overwhelmed, remember that God is not overwhelmed. When you feel worn out and burdened, know that God does not get weary. When you feel like you're at wit your wit's end and you're confused and you don't know which way to go, know that God does not get confused. He is there in every situation to help you, to guide you, to, to lift you up. But second, I pray that you would listen to the Spirit's leading in your life because it's so easy to allow our sinfulness, our selfishness, or simply our stubbornness to keep us from listening to God's direction in our life. So I pray that you wouldn't ignore God's leading in your life, but you would listen to what Scripture calls the still, small voice of God leading and directing you today. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.